Hello, my name is M.K. Davis. I'd like to share with you today some uh, very special images. Uh, these images are dealing specifically with the first walk sequence from the Patterson Gamlin Bigfoot film. Okay, so uh, it, it, this is these a relatively obscure part of the film. It's it's when it's shown in its raw format, it's violently shaky, and oftentimes television shows that feature the film will leave out this part because it's not considered to be of any value because you can't really uh, follow it very well in that format. And so, you know, it's it's uh, dead air time, really, for them. So they leave it out. Uh, but what I want to show you is uh, some, some of the more interesting things that come from this version of the film, this part of the film. Let's begin with uh, what I call footprints in the sand. Let's take a look. Now these images right here are the first time that footprints uh, were actually found in the film. Uh, so you know you, you can see uh, that I'm, I'm going to filter th that part of the image that contains the footprints and zoom in on it. And you can see the footprints there. And what you might notice is that when, once it zooms in, the, the right footprint is on the left side and the left footprint is on the right side. And the big question is, how did that happen? And when did it happen? Take a look at this next one here. Uh, the, ne the, the next still photo shows the subject actually standing in those footprints. There we go. You see right there, it's actually standing in the footprints. It's in situ. Now, take a look at how the right became to be on the left and the left came to be on the right because there was a step over there. Um, uh, a, a stagger step or a step over, whatever you want to call it. Now we move on to just a color version of the film, and, and it's those few frames that are clear and stabilized. You see how wild, shaky the camera was, but I was able to bring it to center, and, and, and when you run it over and over in a loop, it, you get a pretty good idea of the walk. Uh, she's moving away pretty good. Now this is a panoramic view, and this is where I superimpose the walk over a, a good, clear part of still uh, from that part of the film. Now, I stop it right there. The reason is because it gets so wild, it goes up to the top of the trees and down at the pure sand, and it contributes nothing uh, to it, and it just uh, distracts. So I stop it there, and then I wait the appropriate amount of time and restart it where it clears up and becomes stable again, so I'm able to do something with it. Here, watch it again. Okay, I'll stop it there and restart it back over next to the tree. And you see that she falls over or bends over right at the last. And that's the end of the first walk sequence. That's it. Now here you see uh, the, the rolls of fat, uh, what they describe. It looks like rolls of fat. Now let's move on to a frame-by-frame -frame analysis or a look at the film. As part of uh, uh, this particular uh, episode uh, dealing with the Patterson film, uh, particularly with the first walk um, I'm gonna just kind of scroll through some of these obscure frames. Uh, these are from that very shakiest part of the film, and it's very difficult to watch. A lot of a lot of these television shows won't even show this part because it's so difficult to follow. It's all over the screen. It's upper right, upper left, lower right, all over, just like that. Well, but when you we're gonna freeze frame them. This is some of the very best versions of it. You'll see the subject right here. And what I want you to see is, and point out to you, is uh, some what I, of what I think is uh, a naturally occurring you know, features on the subject. So uh, let me see if I've got it positioned just right here. All right, let's take a look. Okay, there, there's the head, the shoulder, and it's partially obscured, you know, behind this tree here. Uh, let's just click one frame. That's a blurry one. All right, now there it is up here. The, uh, moved up a little bit. Uh, same position virtually. Center it there. Um, click again. Blurry. 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 Mm, a little better. 
somewhat blurry, but a little better. Blurry. Blurry. All right, beginning to straighten out. Ah, that's a pretty good one. Now you start to begin to see uh, what I call rolls of fat uh, along each side. See right there? Follow my cursor or my finger. See the rolls of fat? What I consider to be rolls of fat is what it looks like to me. And you can see the back of the arm, you know, the muscle right there. Um, of course, the shoulder, the shoulders and the head are stooped forward like this. So you start to see, you know, that it's pitched away from you. It's hard to see. Um, now, let's go in again. Blurry. Ah, a little better. Now you start to see the glutes right there. Uh, right in here. A little part. A little separation. Now, let's do it again. Blurry. Blurry. Ah, there you see those folds of skin on either side. Um, and it, to me, this I, I recognize this. Uh, I've seen it many times. Uh, I had a friend of mine who was a, a nurse that, that said that he said that it reminded him of diabetic fat. Um, but you know, we don't really know fully the uh, you know the internal workings of a Sasquatch. So uh, we kind of just you know. Uh, we kind of project our own experiences onto it, uh, but really don't know if that's the explanation or not. Or not. Uh, there's a, a, a quite a bit of hair in this area right here. You see it sticks up above this shorter hair, which is a much lighter color. Okay. Blurry, 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 blurry. Better. Now she's moved out away from that tree where the whole body can be seen. And you see a little bit of part in the glutes right there. Just a little bit. Now let's continue on. Ah, that's a pretty good one. Are you getting to see those folds along either side again? A um, little bit of the glutes. You see the, the hair that's raised up right in here. Now proceed. Oh, it's a brightened up version of it. Now. There we go again. You can see the huge width across the shoulders there. Uh, just a, a, a physical specimen. Uh, really, really uh, a, a large uh, featured uh, subject. Keep on following it. It gets better. There we go. Now we can see the part in the glutes pretty good there. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. If that's <laughs> a man in a suit, he's in a world of hurt. That's, uh, I recognize that. I'm sure you do too. Let me just, let me zoom in on it. There we go. Now, a little bit blurry, um, very blurry, 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 blurry. Uh, let me see what happens here. All right, now that's a pretty good one. Let me just kind of move it over a little bit here. There you go. You see the fat again. See the fat run under the shoulder right here and right here, up and down these ribs right here. Now you, you can no longer see the glutes as well. And that's that's only because of a change in the in the angle. See, she's gone from here to this way, and there's enough hair there that when she turned a little, little away from you, line of sight, the sun didn't penetrate, and it just you know looked. It lo they lost the view of the separation there. Um, 
And you can see the head pretty good right in here. Blurry, blurry. There we go. Really blurry. Coming back. Let's see. There we go. Now you see it's kind of a they've got some material there on the sandbar that's blocking the lower legs now you see the elbow right here on the left arm and uh, she's she's kind of bent over a little bit bent over some more oh it's bent way over now this is what I'd like to point out uh, that, that the posture has completely changed I mean it's gone from upright to bent over like this and you can even see the, you know, the, the part in the rear end right here in between the legs. Um, so let's see what else we have. That may be it. That's it. That's all of the first walk. The next time you see a clear image, it'll be the second part of the se walk sequence you know, out on the sandbar, open sandbar. There we go. See, things have completely changed. But uh, that's for another time. And in this short little clip here, you can see where it walks out to the end of the walk sequence and then kind of bends over and pitches forward and goes down almost all fours. And that's the end of the first walk sequence. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, episode of the first walk sequence and the very best of the Patterson film. And I thank you for your time.